This is the last episode of Salty Lass. Three, two, one, clap. Please. Thank you. <laughs> you have the most weak ass clap. <laughs> I've got a weak ass clap. <laughs> I've got a good cackle. <laughs> What I'm getting for Christmas. Oh, dudes, this is what I'm having. This is my. Um... It was Christmas. Should you be opening it? No, I shouldn't be opening it. But uh, I'm going to share with the viewers what we have. I'm having for Christmas. So um, I've uh, got myself um, for Christmas um, a new little camera, and isn't it gorgeous? Um, we're hoping to be able to provide wider shots so that it will have the sails and the cockpit in obviously we haven't tested it and i will test it another day and probably be after christmas but oh it just looks so beautiful so this is what i'm having for christmas and it has an external microphone it does yep yeah. It has an external microphone, it's um, on a GoPro mount, uh, but it's actually come with a little GoPro mount. Mm. So um, we'll be able to try and look at that and mount it onto the um, clamps onto the clamps that we've got. Um, but this little tiny dinky box is what I'm getting for Beverly. <laughs> Am I allowed to know that? <laughs> well, I'm sharing everything with the viewers. You ordered it anyway. Shh! Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I've bought Beverly a. Um, it um, converts Bluetooth into a radio frequency. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you've got music on your phone, which Beverly has got copious amount of music on the telephone, um, she'll be able to uh, link it up to her phone. And then it can play through our speakers, through the radio system. So we'll have to try that out. But this dinky box is what Beverly's got here getting. Yeah, this is my box. I'm quitting. All that stuff that I have in my uh, Prezi. So what have I got? Well, we thought we were buying a camera. Well, we did buy a camera. I know, but... It came with all this stuff in the box and a lot of it looked like different mounts for the camera and things like that. But this is the camera in its little waterproof case. Uh, I'll just venture to say that the instruction manual is bigger than the camera. But um, it comes with two batteries. Uh, it comes with um, a USB lead and... Oh my lord, it's like a little, it's a little steel retainer strap and some cable ties. So you can cable tie the things with this little steel strap. Wow. Um, it's got another battery because I saw I, one. We missed one, we missed one, look. Yeah. It's a remote control. Oh wow. For turning it off and on again. Um, comes with a little battery, which probably is for that remote control. Uh, what looks like an extra camera back or something for the little waterproof case. Um, this is an external microphone which um, fits into the camera so you can get reasonably decent sound on it. Uh, what looks like webbing straps or carry straps of some sort. And these are all various mounting brackets. That's another webbing strap thing. These are all various mounting brackets. So then, Beverly, now for the uh, $55,000 question. How much money did you actually uh, spend for this? This was to go round a bar. You know, like, um, this, this one closes round a, like a steel bar. 
Wow. I know. So we've got loads and loads of different clamps and stuff like that. You've got all all these things on top of the laptop appear to be various clamps for placing the thing around the place. Uh, we've got, this is the camera and all its camera e things, including the two batteries and its little carry case, which goes there. Um, it's, as you can see, anybody who knows anything about these sorts of things, it's rather GoPro-like. Um, it will have a fisheye field of view, so it is a wide-angle camera. It's a 4K camera, which um, we weren't really bothered about, but we got it anyway. It'll take normal high-definition video, which is all we're interested in. Um, and this should give a better view of the boat when we're using it. You should be able to see more of the deck, the cockpit, the sails and things like that. Uh, so this is, I don't know what you get when you buy a GoPro, but this is what you get when you buy this. It's 20 megapixels and it has Wi-Fi control, external mics and a remote. It costs £35. Yeah. I think the nearest GoPro I saw for this sort of configuration is, I don't know, the Hero 9 or something. It's like two or three hundred quid. I didn't, didn't pay too much attention to the price, but it had three, three digits in it. This thing has two digits in it. So... Um, it's like a tenth of the cost. Um, I've looked at reviews of it online, people using it, and it seems to produce perfectly acceptable video, and you lot will be the judge of it. Well, <laughs> I hope everybody's going to be able to enjoy my new present. Beverly and I are just uh, having a, a practice, making sure that the camera works. Um, but um, we've got the my new present. I'll just show you up here. So we've got the new present uh, just here on the um, arch. I think uh, somebody must have put that solar arch there specially to mount cameras. <laughs> well, this is my new present. So it looks gorgeous. On top of that, we've still got the yellow camera, which uh, can uh, bring you more footage. So, uh, you know, we're going to be wired for everything. <laughs> and we still have cameras that go under the spray hood. Yeah, we've still got the cameras, well, the mobile phones, really, because um, we use our mobile phones, but... Um, our high-quality cinematic Technicolor Productions cameras. Which is a mobile phone. So we'll have a mobile phone under the spray hood, and then we'll still use uh, our other mobile phone as the Rover. So hopefully, uh, between all that lot, we should be good to go. But I'm hoping that you can all share my Christmas present because that's what Christmas is all about is about sharing love well it's a particularly windy night which is why there's um, lots of creaking uh, but Bev Prudence here has decided that she's going to help with the Christmas decorations so uh, She's uh, got an envelope and I've just folded it for her into, um, into th three. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what she's made. It's a sponge. No. <laughs> it's a sponge. <laughs> it actually <laughs> Her intention was that of a snowflake. <laughs> it does look a bit like an alien, actually. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I think snowflake is not what it is. Anyway, a few more of these and we'll have a... We'll have aliens aboard. <laughs> We'll have a bit more decorations up. <laughs> what on earth is going on? Well, space is a premium um, on a boat. So if you do need to um, store Christmas decorations or something like that, then, you know, I've stored some um, uh, pipe cleaners, which I have actually used um, for, strangely enough, for cleaning pipes. Um, but you know you're only just storing them flat and here we have some stars and i can make christmas trees with these and a few other little bits and bobs and um we'll decorate the boat with those big wave coming 
Wow! <laughs> Whoa! I don't know if you can see that behind us or not, but... <laughs> right, let's go for another one comes. Be Beverly's helping me now at the moment. I fell over. And I'm not, I'm not too bad, but... Um, I just feel a bit unsteady on my feet on the... Um, what I call the fun fair. The trampoline. The trampoline. Because <laughs> the pontoon goes up and down so much. <laughs> but it's like... Um, we don't need to go to a fun fair, we just no. go... To we just go off. <laughs> it's that wobbly floor in the fun fair. Do you know what? I don't think I'll ever be able to do one of those wobbly fair things again. <laughs> anyway. I'll just walk through it like it's level. <laughs> but yeah, so um, oh, this is going to be the li the last um, live um, blog of the year. Um, we've got another blog coming up, but it's um, it, it's not a we're doing it now sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> this is the last episode of Salty Lass. Only for this year. Stop being so melodramatic. Oh, I know, but <laughs> you've got to bring a lot of drama into people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dears. Well, with me having a dodgy leg, I'm afraid to say you've got some indoor craft this week <laughs> I'm, I'm staggering about here like a drunk <laughs> that's why i need help from bev <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah the good thing about being slightly uh crippled on a boat though is there's all these handy ha handy holds um it's so use useful hand holds useful hand holds yeah that you can just sort of like um grab onto something or pull yourself up with something um knowing full well that it can take your weight yeah that's true oh i'm off the dodgy bit i can walk now hey so now i can stop staggering like a drunk <laughs> yeah just because beverly's uh yeah coping with me well for those of you just joining us it's the morning after the force nine last night um i'll have to confess we slept through it <laughs> i don't think once I was the one who woke up and adjusted the lines. I can't believe it, but there you go. Yeah, well, anyway, so um, she did the line adjustment. I slept like a log, and um, it's all winding down now, thank God. It's just very, very bouncy today. So we went out to get a few bits and bobs, and it's back to the boat now, you know, <sighs> where it'll hopefully be nice and snug and warm because it ain't snug and warm out here, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh. Because space is so um, at a premium on a boat, <laughs> I'm going to put up our Christmas tree. Oh yes, here it is, a piece of green frock cloth and some tiny little um, ornaments. Are they edible? No, they're not edible. Not made of chocolate then? No, but Damn. we've got some tiny little ornaments. But um, if you ever wonder where you can get stuff like this, these are actually... Um, decorations for your bags you know to make your christmas bags look good so we've got some more little bits so anyway we'll see you in a bit and hopefully my christmas tree will be up well a couple of minutes with the uh, needle and thread and uh, we have our crazy tree um but as always on uh, salty laughs there's always a little bit of a quirk because look at that big smile, the nose and the two eyes. Well, the girls have just been uh, helping me uh, create uh, our virtual cards um, for our newsletter subscribers. And um, if you want to uh, receive a virtual card, I'll be sending them out um, this weekend, uh, along with um, our virtual present. <laughs> um, because we, we do have a website, um, Salty Lass, and every week I write about our adventures and um, about once a month, maybe a bit less, just depending on how busy I am, I send out um, a newsletter or an email or something like that, uh, just saying little extra bits, uh, as I say. <laughs> no, 
don't expect an awful lot this week for getting virtual cards. <laughs>